Elvis Presley. It didn't happen in real true life, but it's happening now. And when I go to Australia, they'll say, oh, my sister thought you were fabulous. Me, I liked Elvis. Right. So there was always this Elvis yeah. and Clifford. It wasn't Elvis and Ricky Nelson or anything. So I thought, why not do an album mm. with, with Elvis? Yeah. And, you know, both our audiences are dying, as we all are. Yes. And yet there's an audience there that don't dislike me. I love Elvis. But uh, she said, Priscilla said to me, well, if it was up to me, I'd, I would say yes. Mm. She said, Elvis knew all about you. And I went, me? She, he, she said, he keeps up with all his competition. Ah. Keeps an eye on all his competition. So I thought, oh, my God, Elvis actually thought of me as competition. So anyway, I phoned Sony, who own all the rights to, to Elvis, and they said, look, we'll let you choose one song. Which ah. one would you choose? I chose Blue Suede Shoes. And that's in the album? That's and the one that's in the album? I, I still play it. Not quite daily, but it's getting like that, because I can't believe that... I, I listen to this record, and it's me singing with Elvis, the, the guy that gave me my career. The, if there had been no Elvis, there would be no Cliff Richard. Really? You think that? You, oh, because yeah. I was totally influenced. Do you know what? I also believe they may not have been a Beatles either. Because although they started five years after The Shadows and I did, we were all the same age. So That's they would have been listening to Elvis, Ricky Nelson, Little Richard, Buddy Holly, the Isley Brothers, all of those people. And, uh, you know, I just got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and I sang with Elvis. It's fantastic. Oh, it's, it's brilliant.